will try to introduce the topic of this talk, which will be uh, about JavaFX on mobile. So I have to, to make the uh, mandatory question here. Do you know already about JavaFX? Raise your hand. Just a few. OK, cool. Uh, do you know about JavaFX running in other devices different than a desktop? Do you know that JavaFX can run on mobile? OK, so this talk will try to prove that we can run JavaFX on mobile without performing any tricks, without make, making any magic. So we will just, just use JavaFX code. And we will be able to deploy it on Android devices and on iOS, iOS devices. Out of the box, just with a, with a few clicks, we will do that. So yeah. the story is about the game. I will also ask about the game. Do you know about the game 2048? Nobody in the room? OK, so it was a famous game over last year. This year is not. It's just out of trending topic. And it's a nice game. But for me, it, it was the perfect excuse to start playing before with Java 8, new features, and now with JavaFX on mobile. So this talk will be about all of these topics. So briefly, um, coming from Spain, a structural engineer, nothing to do with software engineer, but you know how life goes. So uh, now I'm a software engineer at Gluon, a company uh, behind uh, JavaFX ports. And you can find me on Twitter and usually blogging uh, about JavaFX and stuff like that. I'm also, uh, let me check, OK, my mouse here, co-author of uh, JavaFX 8 introduction by sample. And we will be creating JavaFX 9 for the next year. Also a reviewer of JavaFX Essentials. And this is, actually this is uh, the app we will be talking about now, which is already in Google Play on, on Apple Store. So what we'll be covering today will be kind of a brief intro to the, to the game. What is JavaFX Ports? what we can do with JavaFX ports. So we will see about the game uh, using JavaFX ports. And then we will talk about Blue on Charm and what we can do with Blue on Charm to enhance our app. So uh, just while we are talking, this is running live. So it's just an AI algorithm playing there. So you can see how the, the game goes. It's really fancy. Uh, to see how we decide to make the moves. So the idea behind the game is just, uh, we will explain it now. So the idea behind the game is just a class, uh, the same a pair of tiles with the same value, and add some, some the values uh, up to 2048 or even further if you want to go like that. So this is the actual game, the original game from, the, uh, from Gabriel Ciruli. Uh, this is the, the online, on, uh, the online uh, HTML5 version. So you can go there and play. Sorry about that. Uh, this is just HTML5, yes, so you can play there and see how it goes. And then you have also the applications uh, on Apple Store or on Google Play from the same author. But uh, we will be talking about JavaFX versions. So uh, we will talk about where we can run uh, this game on what, what kind of devices. So initially, uh, we created a, a JavaFX version using Java 8 for testing the new features at that time. It was last year. And after that, uh, we moved to uh, also embedded devices like Raspberry Pi. This is a, 
uh, JavaFX uh, version of the game running in, in Raspberry Pi. And this year we were uh, a, a step further uh, going into mobile with uh, the same game. So we will talk about what we did for that. This is the, just a little bit of story where we, when we started. Uh, the original project can be found uh, at uh, this report uh, from Bruno Borges. And we have already uh, around 80 stars. We would like to have more, but uh, for that, uh, you cannot go there and, st and just click a start. You just have to clone the repo, try it for yourself, run the game a few times, and if you like it, just click start. So last year at Java 1, we presented the, the Java 8 version. And this year in Java 1, we will present again, but the, the JavaFX mobile version. So uh, let's go and talk about JavaFX on mobile for a while. That's a little bit of uh, introduction to what you, can, you, you should know about JavaFX on mobile. So JavaFX uh, originally was uh, based on JavaFX script. It was like JavaScript, but after uh, version 2, it was uh, uh, just pure Java. So first version had uh, mobile support, but that mobile support disappeared with JavaFX 2 and for sure with Java, uh, JavaFX 8, which is the actual version. So uh, everybody was expecting uh, some, so, uh, some mobile support, but that didn't happen. So uh, there were two, uh, pro two uh, projects uh, around uh, 2013, 2014. One was uh, created by Johan Bos, uh, CEO of uh, Gluon. I started uh, with Android project to create JavaFX port. And there was also another effort uh, by RoboVM to create uh, a port uh, for uh, running Java on iOS devices. So together, combined these projects uh, on this year in February, they launched uh, what we call the JavaFX mobile plugin, which is just a Gradle plugin. You can just use it and you can deploy to any of these platforms with just a few clicks. Uh, just need to go to this site and have a look at the documentation there. You just need to use the, the plugin uh, and use your usual uh, code in Java. So it's JavaFX ports is based, and this is very important, this, this JavaFX port project is based on uh, the OpenJFX code. So it's uh, completely synchronized with the, with the original uh, project at uh, OpenJFX. And any change uh, we made is a port back to the project. So uh, any future changes in OpenJFX will be uh, immediately adapted in JavaFX ports. Also, it's important to note that Oracle is providing actual support for this project because we need some hooks here and there uh, to link uh, our code to Android and iOS uh, native uh, platforms. So uh, Oracle actually does uh, provide some uh, hooks here, here and there to uh, Android and iOS. So basically what we have is uh, a way to use our same code base uh, created in Java and JavaFX. And we can deploy it for sure on any desktop, Windows, Mac, Linux, and any mobile or uh, tablet like and, uh, in running Android or iOS. So the, the most important part here is, OK, this is target for every Java developer who ever dream of running his app, not only in desktop, but also mobile, without making the effort to learn Android or to learn Objective-C to learn Swift. So basically what we cover here is a way to create three platform solutions, only developing one. So the effort in time, money, and also in learning, getting experience to develop these projects uh, is really uh, impacting our budgets and our possibilities to go to the market with uh, lower costs. So 
even this talk is about a game. In fact, what we are talking about here is a way to sell our projects, not only to, to desktop so, and on desktop solutions, but also mobile solutions with the same uh, budgets. A, a importantly to note, we can uh, distribute our apps through Apple Store and Google Play. So the, the, the game app is just a proof of that. And we have also the support for uh, all the major IDEs to develop uh, JavaFX exports using uh, the Gluon plugin, which allow us, allows us to create some project and just drop the, our code there. And with a few clicks, we are done. So I will skip this part. You can find it online. And the Wi-Fi is working, but not so, so fast. So you can read about JavaFX export. We have documented uh, everything here. So you can read about what's uh, here about uh, how it works and everything. So I will skip it. I will go to, uh, to the next point where we explain briefly what we need to run JavaFX ports. Basically, just uh, JavaFX. Uh, 8, which is bundled in Java 8. So we need the, the, la the latest JDK at the time. Uh, we are using Gradle, as I said before. Uh, any version will be fine. And the latest one maybe will have some problems and issues. So it's better to st stick to some of the uh, former versions. And we are actually giving support to uh, Lollipops or Android 22 platforms, uh, not yet Android M. And we need the, the SDK from Android. And this, um, if you are an Android developer, you are used to, to use this uh, all the time. But if you are a Java developer, the funny thing is you can mix both of them. So you can have Java code, and uh, you can use the Android API uh, if you want or if you need to. And for iOS, well, you just need a Mac to run uh, Xcode. And you can use also the latest version. You can use already, uh, already seven uh, version. Download it from the App Store. And this is all you need. Uh, just uh, get started with it and uh, create some projects. Everything has a catch. So what's, where is the catch here? OK, we have a few problems by now, which basically reduce to the fact that we are running on top of Dalvik if we are using uh, Android. Or we are running on top of uh, RoboVM, which is running a, a health of time compilation on iOS. And both of them are using Java 7 virtual machines. So that means we cannot use our new cool features of Java 8. We have to use some uh, projects like RetroLanda that uh, converts our Lambdas for us. But we don't have any support yet for streams. So the worst part of this uh, approach, as, as it is right now, is we cannot use Java 8 strings. So we have to go in, the co in our code and uh, backport all our strings to the classic nested loops and so on. So that's the worst part. But other than that, we have a few missing parts like media. It's not there yet, or printing, or dialogues. Uh, we have all the built-in controls from the API already there. And we have some issues with iOS uh, because of the ahead of time compilation. So you, uh, we need to uh, load in runtime our classes using this force link classes option. But other than that, uh, both projects, or one project de deployed in both platforms is running really, really nice about performance. I don't say anything about performance in this uh, slide here because there is no such problem uh, unless you are running with a low uh, power uh, for the device. But uh, other than that, they are working really, really nice. So links, uh, I think I, I will skip this part. Maybe uh, these slides will be published somewhere, somewhere else. So, uh, the, for the links, maybe you just need to know that uh, on Gluon's site, gluonhq.com, we have uh, all the links uh, 
refer before, and we have forums there, also Google Groups or Stack Overflow, you can go there and ask about Java exports. And we have several examples already uh, at the Java export site on uh, Bitbucket. Also, I have a few samples on my personal repo, and I usually blog about this stuff, so uh, my latest uh, post was about this story I'm telling you today. So you can, you can find it uh, already uh, written there. As I mentioned before, we have a, uh, the Gluon plugin, which is an open source, not, not really open source, it's a free tool, sorry, a free tool where uh, you can use to uh, just install it on your IDE and just click uh, create new project. In, instead of creating JavaFX project, you just select create Gluon proje project. And it will be a JavaFX project, but using uh, the JavaFX mobile plugin I mentioned before. So uh, all of them are available, uh, basically running from the, from the IDE. You just go to plugins and select install Gluon plugin, and you're good to go. So uh, I have a, a demo here. I don't, I, I don't want to get into code because it's not the time for that. But uh, the idea here is uh, when you create, uh, let me try if I can show you a list. Sorry if I can send it there. It's not showing there on the screen. No, anyway, I will skip this part. So basically, the idea here is uh, the plugin version or uh, the plugin you use uh, on your IDE creates a, a build Gradle file. You just need to update to the latest version. Here we are now at uh, 1.0.3 version. And you can already use some snapshots from Sonatype repo. And uh, the project will create some uh, namespace. So basically, we will have a main uh, folder where we, we can drop there our code, uh, Java or JavaFX code. And we have a specific folders for desktop, Android, and iOS. Java and resources folders. So the idea here is, for instance, if you are running your app on mobile and you want to access any native service from the mobile, for instance, the camera or the GPS or the local storage, uh, you will have to place specific code for Android in this folder. So you can use the Android SDK here, or the same with uh, RoboVN on the iOS folder or you have some specific uh, code for your desktop only. So the idea here is a main folder will be shared throughout the, all the platforms, but these ones will be platform specific. Okay. So this uh, plugin will create a few tasks for us. All these tasks are basically uh, related to running on desktop or deploying directly on Android, or creating a, a, an iPad an, an IPA for, for iOS, or launching uh, directly. So for instance, if you, you just connect your uh, iPhone to, the, to your Mac, you run a Gradle launch iOS device, and you will see all the debug messages on your IDE while you are running the app on, on, the, on your phone. 
Also, you can use the simulator if you don't have a, a phone or you want to test, for instance, the iPad version. So with this uh, Java export plugin, we created the mobile version uh, of our game. So as I said before, we have to backport all our streams uh, to Java 7 code. And we have to implement some solutions, for instance, because uh, we store uh, the game or we store the, the score or so on on the device. So we have to implement uh, local storage solutions. And th this was done using Charm Down, which is an open source project. Uh, you can already use, it will create some uh, agnostic API where you just say, okay, give me the, the local storage, whatever platform I am running on, and uh, just give me a, a path where I can store my files. And it, it will provide you the local storage on your apps uh, or on your desktop. So um, other than that, we have to add to the JavaFX code, uh, we have to add specific files like the Android manifest file for Android and all the resources like icons and so on for different resolutions. And for iOS, we have to provide this uh, inf info, info uh, list file with all the tags there and all the, the assets like uh, files, uh, icons, resolutions, and so on. For sure, the, the deploy and test on every platform. And it was all that we have to do. So pretty much anything other than creating the project and adding the files, which, by the way, are already uh, provided by default. So you have to customize them just a little bit. So we submit uh, both uh, platforms. We, we submit the application to Apple, Apple Store and Google Play. And it, would, it would went really well in both of them. We, don't, we didn't have any problem at all. Uh, Google Play is faster. It's just half a day to, to get there. And you just need to provide version name, uh, version number. So this is like a picture of uh, the Android manifest. So here you provide the number, the version name, your main class, uh, the path, uh, the package there. Uh, if you need some permissions, for instance, uh, this version, uh, which is already there, doesn't use any, doesn't require any, any permission at all. So you just remove the, the default permissions on the, build, uh, on the Android manifest file. And you have to provide a signing, uh, a signing uh, keys to your jars, to your files. So uh, by default, JavaFX plugin provides debugging uh, signature, but you need to provide for release. So you have to s sign your jar and add, add that uh, config to your b uh, build Gradle file. And this is it, no, nothing else. So sorry if you want to customize your icons. And then you just submit uh, the app to the, to the Google Play uh, developer console. And there you can use, for instance, if you want a tester program, a beta tester program, or you just uh, go and release the application. And uh, maybe you already know about that. Uh, any kind of exception you, ha you have uh, running the application on any device there, they will report it back to you. Not, you, can, you can see there uh, what problems uh, are people facing because of many different devices you haven't tested before. As well for Apple Store, it's kind of the same. There is this uh, list file where you can uh, set your values for bundle identifier, bundle version, bundle name, and so on, your custom icons. And as well, you have to provide uh, here your developer uh, program your IDE at uh, Apple with your sign identity and your, your provisioning profile uh, name. And so, so and this is the, the list, the Pelis file. And as well, it takes, I think, around a, set, a week or so to get uh, the approval from Apple. But it's already there. It's running since a few months ago. And 
it's, uh, it's a game, okay, but it's proof that JavaFX can make it to the, to the main stores. So uh, I have here a tool to show you on my iPad how it works, how, how you can run the application, but somehow it, it doesn't work, you know. So I, I won't try to show you from here because it's too tiny. So I will show you there if I can. Yeah. It's running low because I uh, have a few issues with the presentation here, but the idea is this is the app uh, on desktop. You, you have the same uh, view for, for the, apps, the app on mobile. You can, if you want, uh, later you can approach me I, and I will show you on my iPad or on my uh, Nexus mobile, Android mobile. So other than that, the, the project is already open source. So you can find it on my repo here. All the code for getting this app into the stores, apart from the uh, credentials for sure, but the, the rest of the files are already there. And this is uh, our first version for the, for the game. So now we are working on improving this, this version. Uh, not in the, in the game per se, because it's already uh, running fine. So we are going to create some new features on the application. And for that, we are going to use Gluon Charm. So I will talk about now. Uh, let me. Okay, let's let's talk about Blue and Charm for a little while, and then we will present the new app. So Blue on is a company uh, created by the by the fund funders of this JavaFX Sport project, and. It was created uh, this year, but uh, the project is already uh, from a few years ago. And we are focusing on cr creating uh, mobile solutions for any, any platform uh, using JavaFX. So the idea here is uh, how we can improve uh, what the regular API you, you find in Java 8. So we <coughs> create Gluon Charm, which is a library on top of JavaFX port that will help you uh, improving your applications. And well, also in, in Gluon side, you will find, uh, as I said, JavaFX port, but also you will, fi you will find SimBuilder. Uh, do you know SimBuilder? Well, SimBuilder is like a graphic tool to create a uh, in an easy way, your application in JavaFX. So you just drag and drop your controls and your containers. So it's, it's a tool that Oracle created, and they don't, they don't longer provide bin, uh, binaries for that. So we are providing binaries for SimBuilder, and we are also updating uh, issues and so on. And we, also pro are, provi we are providing also uh, JavaFX solutions for Raspberry Pi and ARM devices. So if you want to keep in touch with us, you can uh, go to our site, uh, gluonhq.com, and f uh, also uh, we have a newsletter there, and you can read about the stuff we do, and so on. Okay. So, sorry. I mentioned before about uh, uh, what what we want to do with Gluon Charm is just enhance uh, what JavaFX API provides for you. So we use uh, material design uh, guide, uh, guidelines from Google to create a kind of a look and feel for JavaFX. So when you deploy it on mobile, it does look like you are uh, creating a native uh, application. So <coughs> for that, we have Charm Listen, and we have also uh, Charm Connect, which is our access to our uh, cloud. We, have, we provide, out of the box, a Gluon cloud 
or <coughs> also on-premises solutions. So we can combine a, a native, native uh, look and feel with cloud or backend uh, solutions. And we have also, uh, I mentioned before, Glue on Darn to access uh, native services on your devices. You can find uh, all the docs uh, published here. And <coughs> we will try to release our first uh, version uh, just for Java 1. So we are running uh, this last week uh, towards creating our release version for that time. And it's free for use if you have an open source project. And if you are in a commercial project, you can check our prices here. So uh, we have our forums, as I mentioned before. Uh, this is our repo, where you can get the dependencies to use Gluon Charm. And uh, we have already a few samples where you can see uh, what this is about. For instance, this picture is about uh, our uh, latest sample we have uh, on our web, which is called 50 States. We have created a, this is a list view in JavaFX, but it is enhanced. So we have headers in between the list uh, cells. So for every category we find, we create uh, a header and we insert it there. And we provide uh, custom cells factories for these headers. And so, so this runs, this, li this enhanced list view runs on desktop or on mobile. You can scroll with your fingers and so on. So if you are interested in having a look at this, just go to this site and uh, read about how it's done, or go to the repo and, and clone the, the code and try it for yourself. And you will see that it's running without any performance issues on any device. So what, what you, you will do to create a, a project using Gluon Charm will be just uh, creating a regular Gluon project, uh, updating the, the version there, and inserting uh, the dependencies from this Nexus repo I mentioned before. We have uh, custom uh, layouts, so we call them views. And it's easy to, to uh, use uh, these views. So you can uh, easily switch views from one to another, just uh, creating this concept. So you, you don't have to deal about the scenes, the stages, change one scene to the other, and so on. We have, uh, as men I mentioned before, these swats for using uh, material design guidelines. So this is uh, an image of a, p or of a s simple app you can get just creating some, uh, adding some nodes, some uh, buttons, and so on. We, we have support for FXML, uh, which is uh, for the graphic part using a scene builder, or we can use Afterburner framework. And going to finish ja ja right now with uh, the uh, latest version of our app. <coughs> so just a few pictures here. Basically, the app will be the same, but on top of it, we will have a blue and charm. So we, we will have these toolbars with uh, buttons here to store or, or, or restore the game, to quit or whatever. and. Uh, with this side menu, menu. This side menu is uh, out of the box uh, using Glue and Charm, so you just have an instance of it. Or we have dialogues. I mentioned before that JavaFX 8, uh, sorry, JavaFX Port doesn't have dialogues from Java 8, so we create our own, our own dialogues. Um, the, as I said, the app will be the same, but with these new features. So we will we'll have kind of different levels where you can switch, depending if you are a, an addictive user like me. Or and as I mentioned before, we have Gluon Cloud. So we will use uh, these uh, social network profiles to log in, in in the application. So you just sign in with your 
a preferred uh, social network. And you will have this avatar with your uh, image there. And you will be able to share the results, your best score. So this is just a data test, but here uh, we are sharing uh, our results. So this will be released in the coming days. So if you want to give it a try, uh, just stay tuned uh, because we are ready to, to launch it. So here I, I I will try to show you that I cannot I cannot reproduce it, reproduce it on the screen. So if you are interested, just approach me during these two days. It will be around. And if you want to see how it goes, about performance and so on, just uh, come in and see. So let's finish with some conclusions first. OK. So as I said before, we have a 2048 game as a perfect excuse to play with JavaFX 8, play with Java 8 first, and also now play with JavaFX ports on mobile. So uh, for me, during these months testing the, these new features, it uh, has been really a, a pleasure to get in touch with the new possibilities, uh, what we could do, or even if you've uh, found some issue, some bug here and there, report it and get the solution in a few days or weeks. And uh, I, we, I, we've, we, have, uh, test, we have tested dur during these months that running JavaFX on mobile is not a dream anymore. It's a reality. You can do it. You can run Java. You can run JavaFX on any platform at this point. And <laughs> the project is already it's enough. It's, it's mature enough to, to use it. And he, here I, I will say that you can uh, give it a try and just uh, go to the uh, links I mentioned before and give it a go and see for yourself how it goes. And if you want to enhance your uh, JavaFX pr uh, projects, use Glue on Charm because they will allow you to uh, using, uh, use, uh, as I said before, native user interface, uh, cloud, native services. And it will speed up, for sure, the development time and also time to market if you are, uh, if you are in a budget and you, you want to go to market. So just please give it a go. Get in touch with us. And if you have any, any problem, we will be uh, trying to solve it. Thank you very much for coming. And